Ah, yes, the scene of the crime. This is where it all took place, and this is probably the brightest that we're going to be able to see this area for the rest of this video. Because this is the location where we took out the Great One Red Deer, and probably the biggest Red Deer that we will ever take out our entire time playing Call of the Wild. Because they don't get too much bigger than this guy, and... I cannot believe that we finally came across him. You guys know that we have been after this for so long. It has been something that I've been trying to do for ever since they released, which was just a little bit over a week ago. I've put in countless hours trying to push towards getting this guy as quickly as possible, and we finally managed to do so. Just over 3,000 kills later, 25 diamonds, 13 trolls, 10 rares, but we finally have him. We finally managed to get the level 10 fabled great one down. And we got him, well, pretty much right in this area. And I gotta say, it didn't necessarily go how I wanted it to, but it went about as amazing as it could have. So I think uh, without further ado, let's just get straight into it because there is a lot to go over. And it was quite an incredible hunt. It also just happened to happen at 4 a.m. in the morning, so there's also that. Not exactly the most ideal time to find a great one, but these things are unpredictable. You never quite know when it's going to show up, and you kind of just have to work with what you get. So if I sound a little bit more, I guess, low energy this video, uh, that's probably why, because it was incredibly early in the morning, and I didn't want to wake up anyone that was sleeping, so... Without further ado, let's jump into this amazing hunt for the Great One. Because it truly was just incredible the way it unfolded and how it ended. But before we do that, if you guys are brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so you guys will never miss a video. Also be sure to leave a comment down below if you guys enjoyed this video and what you guys think about the Great One Red Deer. With that being said, let's jump straight into it. gosh oh no way it's like 4 a.m. in the morning he finally showed up oh my gosh I can't believe this I am gonna have to be somewhat quiet while we try to take this thing down because it is 4 a.m. in the morning uh, a lot of people are sleeping we're going to do our best to try and get a, a good angle on this guy, though. I think we can hopefully do what I've been wanting to do. And that is uh, take a great one from a tree stand. That's been what I've wanted to do with this guy ever since we uh, started this grind. And we're going to stick to it. We're going to try and get this guy from a tree stand with a bow. Oh my gosh, I can't believe he's here. Where did he end up going? I don't know where he went, but uh, we're going to have to try and get ourselves into a position and uh, just see what we can do. Oh my gosh, just look at how majestic he looks. That thing's huge. 263 to 271 on the estimate. I think this is the big rack as far as I can tell. Oh my gosh. This is just incredible. 3,000 kills approximately, and he's in front of us finally. And at literally like the worst time, four in the morning. Oh man, I am so nervous to try this out. My heart is absolutely pumping right now. We're gonna try and get over to the tree stand that I've got over here. I don't know, I don't know how tough it's gonna be to call him over here, but I've got tree stands set up like, well, right here. It's kind of far, but I think we can try it. My gosh, he is just so beautiful. 
I wonder if we can see him good uh, without the night vision. Doesn't really look like it, but we'll get a chance to look at him once we get him down. Oh my gosh, there he is. He's out in the open finally. That is so beautiful. So I let out a few calls and unfortunately the wind is terrible. Uh, there's no way we're going to get to uh, do this the way that I wanted. Unless we can back up. That wind is really going to hurt us here. So unfortunately I don't think there's going to be any way that we could do this without spooking him. Because I do need to set up a tree stand in a little bit of a better area. Uh, there's no way we're going to get it to work with the current setup. So we're going to try and move it around a little bit. So I'm going to drop off my bow temporarily. And get the tree stand instead. Let's uh, see if we can set this up in a good spot. I am so, so nervous and so excited to try this out. This is going to be just a crazy experience. He's back to being calm, so maybe we'll get lucky here. And he won't actually spook off and we won't have to reset the time. Okay, so we're about 250 away from him. I think we can probably set up right here, uh, provided it'll let us reach. Uh, this should be a decent spot to do this from. Uh, let's just hope that he uh, wants to come all the way over here and hopefully the water doesn't uh, stop him from moving this way. Man, I am... Oh my gosh, you guys have no idea how excited I am. I have been grinding so hard ever since it released. And to finally see him in front of me is just such a crazy feeling. Now, unfortunately, placing that tree stand spooked him, so I think we're going to have to reset the time because otherwise he's just not going to come back to that spot. So we're going to go down and reset the time and hopefully he'll come back without uh, too much trouble. And then we can get into position to take him down. There he is on the shoreline. That is such a beautiful red deer. We can see his uh, fur a little bit better now. Uh, let's uh, look at him through the scope. Oh my gosh. He's so beautiful. They really outdid themselves with the Great One Red Deer, I gotta say. Uh, definitely cooler looking than the Great One Whitetail. Uh, the Great One Whitetail is just massive, but these guys, they've got such a unique uh, characteristic to them with the leaves and the antlers. And also just the really cool fabled spotted fur type. Absolutely blown away with how incredible they look. Alright, he's now within calling range. Let's uh, let a call out. And hopefully we can get him to come over to our stand. That is just such an incredible sight. Oh my gosh. I, I just, I don't know what to say. Like, I feel like I'm just saying the same thing over and over again. But I'm just so blown away at just how fantastic this thing looks in game. Like, the, the pictures that people post just really don't do it justice until you actually see it in-game. That is just the most majestic thing I've ever come across. I would have probably preferred the smaller rack, but... I'm pretty happy with this, just as uh, much as I would be with the smaller rack. That is just so cool. I just realized I made a massive mistake. I still have the tree stand on me. I didn't go back and get the correct uh, bow. Oh no. This this isn't going how I planned it to. Uh, we're going to have to jump down and try this again because I, I don't have my bow. This is not good. We're going to have to try this for a third time. But honestly, since we're going to have to spook him anyway to go get our bow, I think we should probably just try and get a couple screenshots because this is... Just something we're not going to see for a very long time. It's unfortunate that it's nighttime, but that's just part of hunting Tiawaroa. But I believe that's about as good as we're going to get for pictures. Yeah, so he's spooking off now. Let's, uh, let's uh, go set up another stand just in case we want to use a different one. And then we'll go get our bow. I can't believe I forgot to uh, get the bow. Oh, and also for those of you that are brand new to the channel, I should probably mention that normally I'm a bit more energetic than uh, what we have right now, but uh, because it is so early in the morning and I don't want to wake everybody up, I am trying to keep my voice down at least uh, somewhat. But one thing that's kind of concerning me right now is this guy is not... He's not going back to calm. He's stuck nervous, which means 
we're probably just going to have to take him from the ground, but we'll, we're still going to use the bow. I'm committed to at least using the bow, even if we can't get into a tree stand. And I've reset the time twice now, and he's still nervous, so I've got a feeling we won't be able to take him from the stand like I'd want to. But that's still such a beautiful red stag, and I'm happy to take him regardless of how we have to take him. We are now getting incredibly close to him. We're almost into bow range. I'd like to get to 40 meters, but if we have to, we can take a 60 meter shot. I preferably would like to be at 40 though, so I can feel a little more comfortable taking the shot and uh, hopefully not messing him up. This is a once in a lifetime trophy and I don't want to blow the opportunity here, so we're gonna take our time. Uh oh, that's not good. He noticed us. He notices that we're here. It's probably because we're out in the open. Let's get our dog to sit. I think if we just kind of hang out and chill, he should be okay. Let's move up a little bit so that when he gets closer, he'll be a little bit more in range of what we are comfortable taking. Luckily, these little bushes hide us. I still don't understand how these hide us, but they do. And I'm going to take that because that is honestly going to save us right here. This thing would have spooked off by now if this little bush was not here. Oh my gosh, he's calm again. He's calm at 40 meters. I'm pretty sure that's 40 meters. Well, we're not going to be able to get a good depiction from there. 42. He's exactly 42 away. This is it. This is right where we need him. Oh my gosh, we're hidden here. This is so perfect. We're actually hidden here. Now, if he could just give us the angle that we need. I think we might be able to push up a little bit closer and possibly get his attention at the same time. I think we should be good right here. Oh, we could try a frontal shot. I don't know if I want to risk that, but we could do it. We could maybe take a frontal shot. Let's just kind of see how this looks. I don't know if I trust that. As you guys can imagine, I am going to be 100% overly careful with this because this is something I've worked so hard for during the last week. I think we're in a good spot though. I, I'm kind of worried about a quartering shot, but I think I'm confident enough that we can take this. Let's see if we can get him. Once he raises his head up, we'll take the shot. I think we got him. Oh my gosh, we got him. Yes, let's go. Oh, the great one is down. Yes, it's vital blood. Oh my gosh. We did it, guys. We finally did it. He's down. The great one red deer is finally ours. Oh my gosh. I am I am more excited than what my voice depicts right now. I promise you guys I am like freaking out inside but I just can't be as loud as I normally can oh my gosh look at this beautiful red deer I really wish I could get a better screenshot of him but just not really possible with the lighting we'll uh we'll, we'll just do something like this oh my gosh now as long as nothing weird happened this should be a great one 270 140 259.83 kgs what a giant. This is truly a massive stag. I think that's almost max weight. Oh my gosh. Finally, we can put this guy in our lodge. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. What a monster. Finally, 3,000 kills later. Or approximately 3,000. It might be like a little bit lower, a little bit higher, but oh my gosh. We got him. We got him. <laughs> well, it looks like that would be his respawn. You know, I'm not 100% positive, but I think that is the respawn from the Great One, because this guy was not here last night when I hunted him, and the other ones that I can see were here, so... I'm going to assume that this is the respawn we got from the Great One. It's uh, definitely not quite as impressive as the Great One, but I think just because of the fact that it is the respawn from it. We should probably go ahead and take it out. See if we can get a good shot on it. 
That will definitely do the trick, and then we'll put one into that guy as well. And honestly, words can't describe how happy I was to see that level 10 fabled walk out. You guys know that I've been really trying to get the Great One Red Deer before the new map comes out because I know that the second that new map comes out, most of my time is going to be dedicated towards that and I won't have as much time to grind for the Great Ones. So I'm happy that we finally got him and uh, this guy right here appears to be the respawn that we got off of him. So kind of cool that we were able to take this guy out in the same video. Just to kind of see what happens when you take down a great one. They don't always spawn as something crazy. Sometimes they'll just spawn as an average level 7 like this. Which kind of just uh, shows you how the uh, spawning is for uh, Call of the Wild. Not always are you going to get something equal to what you killed. But typically you will just get something in that same kind of weight range. But obviously with a great one being a crazy big weight range. It would go down to uh, 210 to 240 like this little dude. And for the very first time in probably over a year at this point, we have finally moved around this part of the lodge a little bit. We moved our albino mount over here, and I took down the piebald mythical one and replaced it with this guy right here. I still can't believe that we got him. I am going to try and go for another one because I do want to get the small rack as well. This guy right here is the big rack, and personally, I think the small rack looks slightly better, but this guy still just looks phenomenal. And as far as I know, this is one of the biggest great ones that's been killed so far. I don't think I've seen anybody kill one that was heavier, and this is definitely one of the highest scores I've seen posted, so... I'm pretty happy with how things turned out. This is truly a once in a lifetime trophy and one of the most insane great ones that I've ever seen anybody post. So I'm pretty happy with that. I really didn't expect to get something quite this incredible. I knew we would eventually get the great one, but I didn't think it would be this much of a giant. And I think that makes it pretty safe to say that there's only two different rack shapes for the great one red deer. Uh, which I was hoping there would be more, and maybe there still is, but I've only seen two. Let me know if you guys have seen any more rack shapes for them, because as of now, I think there's only two of them. And they both look incredible. But maybe there's a third that I'm just not uh, thinking of right now. But let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this beautiful trophy here. And also, let me know how your grind has been going for the great one, or if you're even grinding for it, because I know it's not everybody's thing. Uh, but with that being said, if you guys are brand new to this channel, be sure to subscribe, click the like button, and ring that notification bell so you guys will never miss a video. And yeah, with that being said, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!